Look, Mac does the amateur act. We got Steam Fortress, Demolitionist, Suicidal. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make for lunch. I make a hot dog or something. We don't really have much in the fridge. That's kind of the problem. I get paid very, very soon. I get, uh, I'm on disability, so I get paid uh, last Wednesday of the month, which I believe should be tomorrow, actually. So I get paid tomorrow, I think. And then I'll be able to go get a new fridge, maybe. I had to get uh, some speakers, too, because we're getting into the... Um, like it's hot, right? So I uh, keep my fan on at night now. Uh, starting last night. Last night was the first night that I actually needed to have a fan on for the for the night. Normally it was uh, warm, but not not uncomfortably so. I just put on a lighter blanket and I was I was I was fine. But uh, last night was super duper not fine. Definitely needed the the fan on. Uh, but I fall asleep with my TV on, so uh, I have like some background noise and. Last night, or when I have my fan on, I have to put my TV louder so that I can still hear what's uh, what's going on. Um, at least somewhat. Like I want to be able to hear some background noise. I don't want it too loud, but I want to be able to hear kind of what's happening, right? I want it loud enough that it's going to wake me up, but I want it loud enough that I can kind of like listen in and, and, and fall asleep to it. Um. But when I have my when I have my fan on, I have to turn it up way louder to get over the the sound of the fan, because uh, I don't know if you remember, but my fan quite quite loud, very very loud. Um. So uh, it was it was it was a it was a definite. Anyway, so it's it's quite loud, and my parents sleep in the room directly above mine. Uh. And my mom is like the lightest sleeper in the world. Like I can't do anything in my room basically when she's asleep because she'll just freak out. Meanwhile, she's allowed to make all the noise in the world while I'm sleeping because you know that's that's how it works. Even when I had a job, she was she was totally fine with making noise while I was asleep and, and waking me up. And uh, I mean, I don't mind it so much because I can fall back asleep, but it's just it's just kind of annoying. Because uh, I can't, uh, I can't do nothing in my room. If my chair squeaks the wrong way; she'll be like stomping at me. Uh, so when I turn my my TV up to get over the sound of the fan, the TV's too loud and it'll like keep her up. And I just say, well, oh well, <laughs> sorry, deal with it. Um, but uh, normally I have uh, some like earbuds that I put on my pillow, so that the the like you know speakers are a little bit closer to me. And then I can have it a little bit less loud and uh, still be able to hear. But I've lost the earbuds that I use for that purpose. And the ones I have are definitely not good enough for... Uh... Okay. Wow. Wow. Uh, and the ones I have are definitely not... Uh, the ones that I was using earlier on today... Uh, in the week, anyway, for you guys, was uh, were are, are not good enough for that purpose because they don't really fit in my pillow. They have like any earbuds, not IEMs, for that purpose. I'm scared. Um, and uh, the the ones that I use are IEMs, so not not so great for that purpose. But um, yeah, I need to get some new ones for that so that I can uh, keep it down at night. But I don't have them right now, so you know, sorry, mother, but. <laughs> have to be kept up so I want to go and uh, see if I can't find like uh, maybe a proper speaker or something like that tomorrow while I'm out getting my fridge and uh, maybe see about uh, setting that up instead which might be a little bit better hopefully I don't know I'll be able to put it a little bit closer to my head keep the the sound down a little bit and uh, that would definitely be an improvement for honestly for both of us because at the moment it's like even at the loudest setting my TV goes it's not really loud enough to, to really get over the the fan unless they're like the, the people I'm listening to are yelling in which case it's too loud when it's on the loudest setting so it's like I can't really get like a a nice even point there right it, it's always just bad so Ah, uh, I'd like to, to get 
the, the speaker or something like that that I can put closer to me because it's just better for everybody. Everybody wins. And uh, that's always that's always what you want, right? <laughs> I love that. He opens up to hit me, and you just give him a little poop. Boom! Like, look at that. I want the nuke. The nuke from 25 uh, demo. So, uh, spoiler alert, but we're not defending the zone because we can't get to the zone. Probably could have defended it as a uh, as demo. I'm pretty good at defense, but you know, defending this area, which is probably way harder to defend than uh, whatever area it's trying to get us to defend. I'm doing reasonably okay. I am getting pushed back a little bit, but there's just too many bloats. Too many bloats. So I'm going to go get my fridge tomorrow, maybe. My sister got a fridge recently for uh, for her room where she puts, uh, you know, her drinks and stuff. I mean, we just don't have enough space in the fridge for, for four people to have, you know, drinks and whatnot. Salads and... It's, 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 the one fridge is just not enough space four adults to, to all be able to make their own meals and, and, and whatnot. It's just that there isn't enough space. So she's got her own. I'll have to find a place to put my own. I'm not putting the fridge in my room because I don't want that noise. So I'll have to find a place to put it, but you know, once it's there, it's there. And uh, it'll be nice to have. I can start working on uh, being a vegetarian again, maybe making my own stuff. You know, when I was, when I was uh, before COVID, I was on my own for dinners. I did make my own dinners and uh, I had complete control over that, which was a lot nicer. Um, but uh, even then, there wasn't enough fridge space for me to make things like ahead of time and then leave them in the fridge. Like I had enough space to buy ingredients and then either make food out of those and then leave some stuff in the fridge for a few days or like make stuff because a lot of the stuff that I would have to put in the fridge if I made it is is from not the fridge, right? Like, if I make, uh, like, a rice dish or something like that, I have to put rice in the fridge. Whereas, um, when I, uh, when I don't have rice, when I, when I don't make it, then I can leave the rice out of the fridge. So it just ends up taking up more space when I make stuff ahead of time. Although it's easier. It takes up more space. And it's, it's that trade-off. Because uh, a lot of the stuff you can keep outside of the fridge until you cook it, and then it has to be in the fridge. And then, uh, yeah, so I ended up buying a lot of stuff that I could leave out of the fridge, and then um, a couple of things that I could put in the fridge, like uh, some peppers, mushrooms, whatnot. Um, and uh, with this, with my own fridge, I'll be able to actually make things ahead of time, leave them in the fridge, and then reheat them the next day. Have some leftovers, which will be so much nicer for uh, for making my own meals. Because like, one of the things I didn't like about being on my own for meals was uh, breakfasts or lunches. Even uh, were kind of a pain in the butt because uh, you gotta. I do have an RPG, yes. Because you, you you gotta make it like the day up. Whereas if I have my own fridge, I can make. You know, some... What's it called? There's like a weird egg omelette thing that you bake. Uh, I could leave that in the fridge. It's like a quiche, but not a quiche. Uh, I can't think of the name for it. But I can make like one of those and then leave that in the fridge. Uh, and then just pull that out for like breakfast or lunch or, or even honestly like dinner sometimes. Um, whereas if I, if I don't have the fridge space, I can't do that because it wouldn't be in the fridge. Like a lot of the ingredients that would be going into it, and then it end up in the fridge anyway once uh, once they make it. So, right? Which is uh, which is a little bit frustrating, but hey, 
It won't be once I get my own fridge. So I'm um, super duper looking forward to that. Let's see if we can get this jump. Yeah, we can. Not quite so perfect, but I'll, uh, I'll accept it. I'm hoping for uh, Patty or Hans. And this is not the kind of class that you want to pre-fire pre your grenades at it. So I don't think I can even make it up there, honestly. Matriarch? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about the Matriarch on, uh, on demo. It's either going to be really easy or it's going to be really hard. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty hard. Honestly. Well, that's obviously the wrong thing to do. That's the wrong thing to do as well. Like, the Matriarch is all about if you can uh, put that space between you and... Uh, get her get her down real quick but um demo's not really so great at that so okay you can just shoot through that that's really cool i can't that's fair that's very fair you know you get to shoot through it i don't get to shoot through it i mean you know yeah that's that's how it works right Gotta get rid of these stinking Edars. The bane of my existence. Let's kill an Edar. I think I might have. Okay, so you. It doesn't take any damage when you hit her there? Really? Well, that's no fun. The, 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 patch, the Patriarch takes a lot of extra damage when you hit him in the, in the claw, actually. See if we can get this headshot. That's not a headshot. It's fine. Yeah, no, that Matriarch on demo, not too bad, honestly. Matriarch on demo, not so bad. Dump all the money. You get a lot of money on uh, on demo, too, somehow. Not sure why, but I guess you just spend less money. Because you don't upgrade anything. Must be, right? Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.